Hello, hello. My name is Lance Brown. How's it going? And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to model an actual lampshade. So I'm doing a speed through run on this. It's going to be 14, 13 minutes. So what I'm showing you is one of the bases I did on the previous lamp. But it's going to be a totally new base shape that's going to be done on this thing. So... What I did is I select the lamp image right there. I make sure I had the right image. Right there, I got get my reference images right there, ready to be used. <clears throat> and then I construct a cylinder. A polyhydrate I constructed. Sphere. I think something like that. I think I constructed something. I think this is a light bulb I was doing on here, I think. So I was doing kind of a light bulb right here on this thing. And I was hitting, like I think, CTR extrude up. Actually, yeah, I was doing basically the light bulb shaft at first. So when I started doing a light bulb shaft, I was doing this part right here that goes right about there. And I hit quick fillet, I think, which is like extract around edge, the edge, edge tools on Carrara, the fillet tools. And then I hit loop on that one selection. And I scale that up. And then I ha add another fillet towards it. And I'm and I did another egg edge extraction. Fillet extraction. Getting out the general lines and shape right there, I think. And then I increase out the edges right there, I would say. And then I started doing the exact same thing right here. And then I did the exact same thing right there. So I increase out the edges. So I selected the lines right there. I went basically loop and then I hit extract around edge right there and then I just did that right there. And then I did did an extrude and holding down the shift and holding down the CTR and I also hold down the shift while I extrude. Add lines towards that. I would say add a couple segments. Fill polygon. Translate on that. And then I did ed edge extract right there. As you can see. Edge extract again. And then I actually did that right there.
Edge extract. Extract around edge. And as I could see, I was adding segments on here. The quick fill it tools, and then I just add extract around edge. And it's one of the main things I did. And then I just kind of add segments onto here. Trying to think what I started doing. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be for, for the light switch. So I kind of like played around with this, I would say a little bit. Actually, I hit the add tool, actually. Didn't like how the way that was. And then I kind of added segments onto here. And hit link right there to link to sections, I would say. And I wanted to kind of make that far poly. So I kind of selected all of that. Like that. And I went into scale and I wanted to make this And then I basically kind of just add segments onto here, and that's what I did. Bound. Well, that. And then I just welded those together. That pretty much. Like that, I would say. And then I, what, what I try to do right there is run into here. Circle.
I counted the vertices how much it was going to be, so I was making some, some calculations. So then I selected that and then I draw it out a circle. And then the next thing I did was delete the polygons. And went into polygon select tool. And took off snapping. And just like that right there, I would say. Select this, and we're going to select this, I think, and then that's what we would select. Go translate right there and that's what it is. And now what we're gonna do what now what I think I do is I started making the the not the, the, the nozzle right there for the actual thing. So when I added smoothing onto this thing, I started, you know, kind of fixing up a couple of things in a way to get things that uh, run properly and to run smoothly. So I would kind of like Delete a couple unwanted vertices in here. And then I just hit duplicate right there to make the, the nozzle itself. Make sure that link polygons is selected. Then after that, I went into this thing. Then I went extrude and hit shift to extrude out. Shift shift C T R L to extrude that. And kind of just kind of did the, the same process. And kind of hit extrude while holding down, let's say the shift key and the C T R key. And then I hit like extract along right there to get to a certain beveled edge and then I add a couple of like segments in there just basically to add some division in here And I guess that's it. That was completely done. So as you can see, this is kind of like the final product of what it was done. And that's what it actually looks like right there. So I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you like my video. And, and please watch my video and mention it to other people. Thank you, goodbye, and I hope I can help you a lot.